In the autumn of 1989, we bought a tiny house in the shadow of the medieval citadel of Carcassonne. It was a little run down, but it was the best view in France, where the Cathars had lived and died and been persecuted in the 13th century. And that was it. I fell in love with the Lombard. In 1208, a crusade was preached by the Catholics of the North against the Cathars of the South. And by 1244, they'd been driven back to the citadel of Montségur in the Pyrenees. We know that just before the citadel fell, two men left carrying the Cathar treasure. But the third we don't know. Could it have been a woman? We also know that 700 years later, the Nazi grail hunters came looking for the Cathar treasure. They never found it. So you see, fiction takes over where history runs out. And when I first went to Montségur, I had all the voices in my head of what happened on the 16th of March, 1244, and the Cathars being burnt in the pyre. And I suddenly imagined a woman in a red cloak pulling it around herself. 10 years later, when I came to write that chapter in Labyrinth, I realized it was Alaïs, and I'd met her then, but I didn't know who she was. So to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the publication of the novel that took the world by storm, I'm going on a one-woman theatre tour. We're going to celebrate the landscape, the soundscape, the music, the myth and the legend. So come with me and step by step, we'll unlock the secrets of the labyrinth together.